we can be on how to ride in traffic, best tips, nah, nah, it's not that at all, it's a bit of motor pacing down, down the, down the decent, decently busy road thing, it's Port Rush Road in Adelaide, uh, Jim Riders just ahead of me, and we are chilling out, uh, so we just, just finished the ride with Katusha, and we wanted to get home quick, so, Harley was like, alright, let's go, um, so you can see we're cruising at 60 k's an hour down here, uh, it's good fun, this, really do enjoy, like, doing a bit of motor pacing, it gives you a lot of, like, exhilaration, a lot of like nerve. Your heart rate's always a bit up because, like, if that car suddenly slams on its brakes, cheerio, mate. You're you're eating that tire on the back of the car. Uh, so yeah, it's it's good. Like, obviously, you need do you need to practice motor pacing uh, because it's just useful. It's like more like race pace stuff at fifty k's an hour, or whatever. If you ever want to be like riding a race where you might have cars, uh, so on like a bigger bigger national national race or whatever then it's good good to be able to be comfortable around cars or whatever and comfortable drafting. Um, but mainly I do it just because it's great fun and you can go super fast with not too much effort. Uh, so you can see here this car's being a bit of an idiot. Not sure really sure what the bloke's doing. Like we're probably going to turn left, but you never worried. Oh yeah, and these chickens on the side are RIP. Very sad. Um, it smelled so bad. It was actually just like horrible and not really a very nice thing to see at all. Uh, but unfortunately that's one of those things... In the modern day, it had a decent draft, but it just smelled so bad. I was not going anywhere near that. It was disgusting. Um, but anyway, Harley's flying along <laughs> up to 65 k's an hour. Uh, I was putting some big numbers here to try and chase it, uh, chase him down, because we were we were flying along. Um, so you can see here it's sort of slowing down, but there's there's a gap between here and the left. So I think Harley Harley sees it and goes over. Here I'm like slamming on the brakes so I might crash or whatever, um, but we can mix through it we can squeeze through sorry it's not too hard like here like unless someone opens their door you'll be fine um and here you always just watch on these roads where it's like a left hand turns often because people might just turn left not see you so always just be be wary about that um so you can see the cadence is real high i find like on these high speed efforts when you're accelerating quite often it makes sense just to use a slightly higher cadence because it means the accelerations aren't as labored and it's just easier to do um so you can see here we're still just chilling out um this car again is being a bit of an idiot, but I think we end up overtaking him because it's just going too slowly. Uh, so this is like 40 k's an hour, we were going 65 before, but the downhill definitely does help. Um, and just the cars, like it's hard to, it's hard to feel feel it when you're doing it, but like the cars definitely help a lot. Um, it's not as obvious as when you're drafting from a bunch, um, but you sort of do just get carried an extra like five, six k's an hour faster just because the cars are pushing there in the same direction, so there's less. That's there coming against you. So you can see here, we're sort of on the flattish part of it, and we're going for 52 k's an hour, overtaking cars. Um, this is really, <laughs> this is really good fun. I mean, I'd say, like, probably don't do this if you're new to cycling, but if you're a bit experienced, just practice it. Just practice going behind cars, and like, not necessarily straight behind them, but just a little bit to the side or whatever in case they break. Um, and it can be good, good, like, for your confidence in traffic, just to see how cars react or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's it's good fun. I really enjoy enjoy it. I've heard people on like pros have got up to like a hundred k's an hour on the flat uh, drafting behind team cars before, which is quite insane. Uh, but here it's not really the same. Um, also, the other thing is just make sure you're super airy. You can see here um, that you want to have bent bent elbows really. Um, tuck your elbows in. Just try and tuck everything in. Bent, bent roll your shoulders in a little bit might feel a bit unnatural but you want to just get everything as most streamlined as possible and make sure those elbows are bent as much as possible when you're in the drops uh, so you can see like Harley has a mirror which is quite useful because when he's pacing people you can just look at the mirror I don't really want rate mirrors well I don't have a mirror just because I think it looks a bit bad but I, I can understand the merits especially if you're riding with other people who are um, maybe not necessarily as fast as you and you don't want to lose them the whole time I think it's definitely definitely something to be some, uh, like a good thing to have um, so you can see here um, we're just going to the end and that was the end of the motor pacing section uh, so cheers for watching um, and I'll see you in the next bit